horsepower. Yeah! Five horsepower? Five! Damn, dude. That thing looks like it could frickin' pull. We're gonna do nasty posy track burnouts for days. Oh, oh, it's stuck. We gotta take it out. All right, well, I guess it's getting the 390. What's up guys? Today we're gonna take this country stand wagon, put it back in the garage, and the motor that we're working on with the high boy, we're gonna put it right in there. Right smack dab in the center because our five horse did not work. It's it stuck, no. stuck tight. It's 19 degrees, kinda cold. No, dude, it's like eight degrees. Just kidding, it might be eight degrees, it's snowing. We're still gonna get this done. We're gonna see how long we last in the garage. We're here to get some progress, full sense. Here's our history expert. Yes, this 1961 country sedan was picked up by a dude and that uh, was actually from uh, Waterloo, Iowa. And he was so proud of it. He actually had bought a 400, which to me I think are crappy engines, to stick into it. They're 400 modified, which was supposed to have been like a 351 Windsor, but actually they're, I think they were just because of the economy part of it, not good engines. Anyway, if you look at the car, it's all blue. Why was it all blue? It can't, he restored it in a time of what we consider the pastel era of the early 90s. Some people enjoy that, but if you look at uh, street rods now that are, that are pastel, most people want to change them because actually, to me, I never did care for the era. But it was cool for the back then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So basically, the truck's too freaking long. I have to Did open the door. Me? Come on, Sean, you got it. Come on! Oh. oh shit. Ah! He's doing it. Look at that puppy go. Ah! Yeah! What I was saying, we, uh, we gotta make room for this hoist so we can pull the engine and then put it in that wagon. What's going? And that wagon's gonna scoot, bud. Right? It's also gonna burn a lot of oil. While we were away, pretty much I came out here by myself. I just connected motor mounts from under here. There was only two bolts, one on this side, one on the other side. And then I disconnected the clutch the rest of the way. Super easy. There's one bolt that goes all uh, pretty, it's a pretty large bolt. It's like an inch and an eighth head. It uh, bolts straight into the side of the tranny and that holds the whole shebang in. Other than that, that's all I did. It's ready to come out. I did put the, the plate on, I guess. We'll see how it works out. Got the carburetor loose. Figured out that here's a crack right here in the intake manifold. Took that stick out. Took the stick out of the carb. Pretty much, and this thing had a ton of vacuum leaks, so suck on some antifreeze. You know, if you ever want to kill somebody, you just put some antifreeze in their milk. That's dark. All right, so we're gonna go up with the engine now. Since Sean took everything out, see how this goes. It probably won't go very well. Nothing really ever goes well. Is that gas line? I did forget to disconnect that already. Well, it's going up. Well, yeah. I hope the best part about taking out a motor is when how many things you gotta cut. Yeah. When you forget to take them off. True. That's not flammable at all. That's all right. It's all good. That one's disconnected. It's loose. Yeah. yeah. Um, Are we gonna have enough space to go back, bro? I gotta cut that. Uh, what do you mean go back? We'll like go back with the, the, truck back. the motor in. All right. But here's the thing: is we gotta cut the shifter. Okay. I have to go get my grinder from the the van. Oh, we're not getting Oh, no, you know what? We're not getting any One second. We have to jack up the back of the tranny because it has a, a C groove that goes on the middle. So, yeah. Yeah. It's hanging on right there. So, right, right here. Yeah. Yeah. I never do this, but. Where's that light at? 
that Miss Squawky light. Miss Squawky, you mean Milwaukee? <laughs> The Where's the Miss Squawky? Where's the Miss at? Hey, you called it Miss Squawky too, bud. Shit. I'm going home. If anyone needs some gas at zero dollars, come to us. It was here last time. You mean this light? Yes. Miss Squawky light? Yes. Is it M I S? Yes. What I call it? Everybody has a nickname, even Miss Squawky. So, what's holding us up here is that little yeah yeah right there. That little yeah yeah. A very technical term in the industry. Well, that's my technical term. Sparks! Ha! Got him! Ah, uh, balls. Where are you going? Oh no, what happened? It's over. Okay. Oh, it really wasn't that hard, I wonder if we could. Pump, pump, pump it up. Yeah, we do. There you go. The one that's hitting inside? Yeah. Yeah, it's hitting the top. Cross member out. Damn it. Oh well. Fix it with fire. So, here's your daily dosage of fix it with fire. Misquawky light. You know you love your misquawky. All right. Remember that spill we had of gas? Yeah. You want to go up there and make sure it doesn't light up? No. <laughs> Just gonna send it. Gotta get footage of this. You never told me if you have a fire extinguisher. We don't. If it burns, burns, but this side is real close to a fuel line. <sighs> there we go. Uh, no, the top's catching. Is it? Yeah. Damn it. What how much? Top. Yep. Push it back. Yep. Okay. Well, as Sean said, the top loader shifter mechanism is getting in the way of us taking it out and so we're trying to get this off but it's kind of hard because it's last bolts right there and the potty's in the way So gooey. That's going forever. Oh, it's coming. There's another bolt in it somewhere. There's gotta be one in that front hole. We just can't see it. Oh yeah, there it yep. is. Ooh, damn, that's not bad looking. That's still in pretty good shape. At least like a towel to put over it. Yeah, I'll get a cup of towel. Okay. Yep, I I got him. So we got the shifter off. Just covered it. Pretty good right there. Forgot ground. That's ground wire right there. Yeah? Okay, don't cut it all at once. Cut a couple out. Huh? It's gonna be able to cut it all at once. So, oh my god. Just kidding. Sorry, everybody. The strength. We gotta go a little bit more. I think we're good. We're clean. 
still on. Wait a minute. I can pull it back. Pull it back then. It's stuck. What's it? There's a bolt. <laughs> This transmission's in hell of good shape, dude. Mm -hmm. You should see it inside of it. I was pretty surprised. Well, there we go. He's out. Boom. What we gotta do now is I have to measure this frame rail for uh, pretty much the manufacturer that builds the Ford High Boy frame mounts to a Cummins diesel. Yeah, I know it's kind of lame that I'm not building myself, but why not just buy them when they're cheaper than I could buy build them. So you're gonna measure them and make sure it's the right distance so that you make sure it is a High Boy frame and not just a regular F-250 frame, which we're damn sure it's a High Boy. It's easier to be safe than sorry. We gotta do that before we leave tonight. Make sure I think it's around 31 and a half, I think from this bolt. Does this that. mount longer just because the steering column and everything has to go right here? Per se, no, that's just how they all mounted. Really? Just, that's just how that wide. longer and this is short. Oh yeah, no, I, I guess I didn't see that. Yeah, that's, yeah it this just looks funny. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So who wants to explain to me what happens when you're shifting? You can't shift it, it needs to stay in the position it's in. Yeah. But these are uh, clutch forks. So each one of these will move and will engage a different gear to set that gear into drive or per se. Right now it's a neutral, so none of these would be engaged into this. It engages one of these gears differently. Yeah. This is actually in very good shape, surprisingly, for how hard we've been on this truck. Too bad it's a truck transmission. They're virtually uh, worth Everybody wants to use a T56 or T5 just because they're pretty much superior in every way. So now we're gonna pull this transmission loose. We're gonna bring the wagon in. We're gonna set the motor in the wagon, maybe bolt, just thread on the bolts really quick, pull the wagon back out, and then that should be it for the day. It's getting colder and colder as the night comes. Yeah. So these are 5 8 headed bolts. Get those loose, then we'll turn the motor over and we will disconnect the flywheel bolts. Get them all nice and loosey goosey. Okay, you just want to loosen this one right here. I'm gonna grab the big bar. That's right, it should be good enough. Oh no, we got a leaker. Oopsie daisy. Okay, keep doing that. Keep doing it. <laughs> That's what it's stuck on. The guard. The what? These, uh, they're not like torque converters. We had to take the bolts out, right? I don't remember. It's been a minute. Oh man, that clutch is. <laughs> a little shot. A little wild. She's shot. And the springs are broke, though. Yeah, well that's a good sign. Well, ain't nothing left of that clutch, okay. The throw bearing's bad news too. Yeah, I knew Really that bad. I knew it was. There we go. Here's the clutch that was in the truck. As you can see, uh, <laughs> it's no wonder it was slipping so bad. <laughs> and this guy. Oh uh, yeah, I need a new it's flywheel. It's seen its day. Luckily we're not using the flywheel. Getting an automatic, as much as I hate to say it, but it's like a Frisbee. Oh, 40% chance, and look, it's 100%. Great. Battery troubles are always sucky. When it's negative 100 degrees out, you have this problem. So, wagon won't go anywhere. The back tire's flat. And the tractor won't work. It all it does is spin out. It's a worthless tractor. So we're gonna have to change the tire. Uh, it's getting freaking cold already. Well, it's been cold, but I can't feel my hands. Might be calling a day soon. And what time is it already? It's 4.53. I've been a lot 
looks like we've been at this for like all day but in reality it's only been like two and a half hours two hours yeah freaking iowa Oh my god, he's slipping again. Well, as you can see, there's no wagon in here. It's really uh, sad that we didn't get that far, but it's not a big deal. It's a, it just got too cold. The brakes locked up. We had a flat tire. The tractor kept spinning out. The tractor could not get traction. It's too lightweight in the back end. Way too light. You need like four people on the back to jump. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it has to go. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. We got next week. We don't even have the transmission for this engine yet. So it'll be here next weekend. And you know what? We can slap this in and we can slap the transmission all in one go. And we're that much closer to having another running and driving vehicle. Other than that, super happy to get done with this. We ran into some troubles with having to take off the top of that top loader four speed. I mean, that's the name of the game. It's out. We got far. We got really far. It's okay. There's always another week. Never get too cold, never hurt yourself. So.